Hey guys, it's SF, and as you can see, this is a totally different screen. Doesn't look like anything that I've done before. And it is a new game. It is a new game by Mixi or X Flag. X Flag is the gaming department of Mixi, I guess. Um, but uh, this is their new game. It's called uh, Black Knight Strikers. And just released today or yesterday, depending on when uh, you saw this, it released on the 20th of January. And from the looks of it, it's relatively different in terms of design and it's more 3D instead of 2D. But in terms of functionalities and stuff, it's pretty much the same as Monster Strike. So some easy to notice is these are the evolution materials. Uh, basically stone shards and the divine at the end there. Let's see if how much I can't even convert. Oh, I can convert. It's only if you have enough. But um, and of course when you fuse, this is the fusing, the orange banner thing. When you fuse, uh, it shows up three different tabs. So the yellow one is units. So uh, all the drop units that you gain throughout uh your game. The green one is for turtles, and as you can see, there are three D turtles. Three D turtles. Uh, this one is a the Pluxy. And then on the orange tab is pluses. Uh, I don't have pluses anymore, but uh, they don't look like the Monster Strike uh, pluses, but they do have the same name. And their plus thresholds are a little bit different. It's 10 each all across the board for the lower tier ones. So, yeah. Another thing about the actual monsters, there are four different types of weapons. And of course, there's five elements. So, fire, water, wood, and light, and dark. And it's pretty much the same as Monster Strike in terms of elemental weakness and strengths. But um, there are four different weapons. There are there's a sword, there is a bow, an archer, and then there is a uh, lance, like this guy, like this guy, the blue one, and there is magic. I don't think I have a magic monster with me. Oh, there's probably somebody in the friend in my friend list. But uh, whoops, I just switched for no reason. Let's switch back and you ch you have your leader which is my far right one because you're going as a side scroller so you go uh, from left to right so it's your first monster goes to the right and then but you can also change your leader like uh, on the fly by pressing the green button but in terms of gameplay it's a lot different oh, oh yeah you can select your friend here uh, this I already set mine to my five star monster which is uh, I can't really see it right now. I'll, sh I'll show you during the uh, during the when I select my team. And there's quest. Left one is normal. Right one is events. Normal is pretty much the same as Monster Strike. And there's even a bonus stage at the end of each tier. And then event. Uh, right now the bottom one. The bottom one is uh, daily daily shards and stuff. So if you want evolution, you're going to evolve your monsters then. Uh, go for it today is wood the green one is wood and then the uh this one is the event this is a savage level dungeon and even the uh, names for the difficulties are the same so it's savage heart and normal and the stamina and the stamina needed are the same and then on the right there's a thing called weather i haven't really seen much difference yet but uh so far all the quests that i've played have uh, sunny on them so this is sunny but uh there are some monsters that um, there are some monsters like my water monster right here. Uh, it has an ability of no heavy rain, so maybe uh, maybe there's like a weather condition that is like really uh, that is like raining and then uh, hinder my progress, like either decrease speed or like attack or something like that. So there's an ability for that, and then the cool thing about the cool thing about this game is that you can select your own monsters. So you can select all four of your monsters like the same. So right now I have my fire guy. I can switch to another fire guy if I want to. Like that. Or I don't have to. And then, whoops. I want to get my water guy out here. Or you can select your friend. As click on the, uh, tap on the orange button, the flashing orange button. And then you just select your monster. I'm going to select this guy. 
And basically, I'm going to run down the monsters. This guy is a lance. And I guess I'll show you. Whoopsie. There is a magic monster here. There's a magic monster here. It's basically, there's a, the difference between the all four weapons is that there are range, of course, range, and then like, mostly range, and then like, attack and all that stuff. So Lance can shoot from, can attack from a little bit from mid range. Swords, you have to be close range. Uh, bows, you shoots at an arc, shoots at an arc, and then magic goes straight, to, straight across the enemy. You'll kind of get it once uh, you see the actual game in progress. But let's look at the monsters a little bit here. So this is a 5-6 star monster. Uh, his name's Trident. And they have an ability called Demon Slayer. Basically the same as a Monster Strike. And then the yellow one is called a Strike Saver. So it's basically your active skill. So they also call it SS as well. So Strike Shot, Strike Saver, whatever. Uh, for this guy is the monsters that he attacks, their damage gets reduced, the like damage that comes to their attack damage that goes into us gets reduced. And then the red one is called Brave Ball, which I'm going to explain a little bit later on. But when you use it, uh, your whole team gets a speed up for a certain amount of time. My second monster is a Bow Archer Demihume. So yeah. Ability, there's no ability. This is one of the monsters that you get at the beginning. And then Strike Saver is a heal through throughout a certain time frame. And then Brave Ball is to increase its damage. My water monster is Iron Man. And then ability, no heavy rain. So if there's a weather condition that has rain, then pretty sure she'll be really effective. And Strike Saver is a increase own strength for a certain amount of time. And then Brave Ball is to increase speed. And my wood monster is a 5-6 star monster. She is Hatcher. Oh yeah, and the water monster on my third slot is also, on my second slot I guess, is also a 4-5 star uh, Hatcher monster. And her ability is Demon Slayer. And Strike Saver is the same as my wood one and increases my, heals my team through a certain amount of time. And then Brave Ball is to increase speed. I'm just going to go into the dungeon. I'm not sure if I can make it out alright. This is Savage and if you kind of compare, like I have two 5-6 star monsters and one 3 star monster that's at level 1 and then uh, three and a 4-5 star monster that's on a Savage. So basically, uh, in terms of the game, the top, as you see on the top there's a timer running down. Uh, the, the bottom one, the 210 seconds, is the speed clear. So if you clear the dungeon within that amount of time, then you get an extra drop. On the bottom left, there is a giant crystal thing. So uh, while you're battling, uh, while you're attack, while you're going through the dungeon, uh, monsters will drop these like little blue uh, shard looking things, and it'll fill the gauge. Once the gauge fills, you get an extra drop. And then the crystal, the mini one on the right side, is the actual drops that you got. And then shards, and then coins. Uh, so how do you move? You move by uh, moving right. As you just swipe right on the screen and then you'll automatically attack and then there are hazards like that uh, there is a timer so you can avoid it and you can also backstep by swiping left and then you can jump twice by swiping up and then you can guard by swiping down uh, guard guard doesn't um, guard only decreases the amount of damage that you take so be careful of that and then you see there's a tap there if you tap it, your team gets a whole power up for that weapon. Sadly, uh, this one is the magic weapon, uh, magic uh, power up for like uh, magicians. So it doesn't do anything. There are three stages that goes up to three. So it's one, two, and three. So I just keep moving right like that. I'll just tap it for no reason. And then once you clear the stage, there's little fairy things. You shake your phone in general. And then as you see on the top left, there is a brave ball up there that's called brave ball uh it's pretty basically your final attack i'm just gonna heal because it's getting a little sketchy here oh i'm missing i'm missing okay i'm just gonna chill here for a sec the gauge uh, increases by 
just like standing here and then just like pressing attack basically so you see like my gauge slowly fills up and you see the blue shards racking up my uh, crystal shake my phone I'm just gonna chill a bit and then of course just like monster track once you go past every single stage and uh, you heal up a little bit I'm not even going for time clear because uh, I already started too late and trying to explain everything so I'm just gonna chill and attack guys and there shake my phone okay boss time this is going to get a little bit hard because I'm trying to explain things whoa I'm gonna avoid that I kind of want to clear off the Okay, whatever. Okay. Yes, finally a sword. So at least my my water got my green girl gets some attack boost. Okay, chance time. I'm just gonna increase my archer's attack for a sec. There we go. Basically, you as long as you know how the whoa, that's sketchy. Okay, that was a little bit. Oh my god. Okay. As you can see, if you, it's kind of like those like really uh, like a console RPG game, JRPG game where you know you just bob and weave for the whole for the most part. Oh, that's. Sorry, I'm trying to. I'm kind of hard. Ouch. I'm gonna heal up. Oh, the. Okay, it should be okay. I just wanna get rid of the spike. Okay. So far so good. As long as I avoid her avoid her attacks, I should be able to win. Okay, I right, dazed her. Good. Okay, I'm just gonna heal up just for a second time just to be a little more safe. Okay, and that should end it, and boom. This is Savage, and with this team, uh, it's a little more skill based than Monster Strike, where it's a little bit less of the monsters that you bring. It's more about uh, when to avoid uh, monster attacks and stuff like that, and when to use skills, and when to avoid and guard and all that stuff. So even with this team, basically, ooh, I got a drop, I think. I think this is a drop. Hopefully, yes, got a drop. That's awesome. Uh, technically, probably if I if I'm going with Monster Strike standards, it's probably going to be like an extreme stage where you'll probably need all five six star monsters. But the she herself is a four five star monster, so she's not that bad for now. When I'm starting out, but basically, learn the enemies attack attack things. And then you'll do great. And yay, I got a friend that um, that sent to my invite link. I'll put out an invite link at the description bar to tell you. Uh, so you can click on it. You get five orbs. I get five orbs. And we'll be all happy. I don't know if there's like a limit. Uh, so far, I only have two so far. So there might be a limit probably. But uh, I am going to roll the hatcher. Hatcher is basically... The same as the as monster strike so single can have three stars and then if you 10 shot you have either four to five so i'm going to roll twice because i need some monsters and 
I'm just gonna tap. You just tap. And let's see who I get. I think when it's rainbow, you get a 5 star. So this guy's a 4 star monster. Let's see him as a monster. So ability is increased guard. So when you swipe down, you probably get an increased, like you're taking less damage for the whole team. Uh, strike saver increases your uh, defense. Himself only, not the team. And then Brave Ball is the increased speed of the um, team. I didn't really did, did the Brave Ball, I think. But Brave Ball, you just uh, swipe right. I'll do that sometime in the near future, but uh, you can test it out yourself. And of course, the first tutorial, it shows you how to actually use the Brave Ball. And let's roll one more time. And that looks not promising. Oh, I still got 4-star. I think. Yep, another 4-star. Right now, there's only 8 5-star monsters. 8 5-6-star monsters. I'm not sure about the 4 5-star monsters. Let's see this guy. No heavy rain for the ability. And then just a giant damage. Giant nuke. Well, I guess it won't be that giant because he's a 4 5-star monster. But for his strike saver and then increase the attack for his team when you use your brave ball. And he is a sword. I do have a lot of sword monsters, but I do like I'll probably like to do like two range, two close range as a team, or like three close range, one far uh uh, uh long range. But um yeah, that's pretty much it for uh Black Knight Strikers. I might do a blog post. I did revive my blog post recently and might be talking about the UI like like tell you all the options and stuff but it's basically the same as monster strike so if you know how to play monster strike and know how it works especially if you know like japanese like the japanese version of monster strike then it's pretty much the same like this one is just the home button the blue one is the quest so it's normal or event unit create deck evolve cell uh, create so from the top is deck and then fuse and then evolve and then going down to cell and then choosing your friend monster and then your box in general the really cool part about the box is that your turtles and pluses do not count in your third in your hundred so that's cool that's a little bit different from monster strike and then your items your evolution items but uh, there is co-op, but it's local co-op only, and it's a max of three months at uh, three players. I'm pretty sure like it will get a more lot more fun when you do co-op. But since it's local co-op only, uh, not a lot of people might be able to play it and have fun with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to create an alt just to show you how local co-op, how the actual co-op works. But um, maybe if you guys want to, because I'm not sure if I'm going to do. I'm probably going to do random videos randomly sporadically when i feel like it and maybe i'll drop the game either maybe i'll drop the game as well so I, you never know and but that's pretty much it for black knight strikers if you want to see more then of course like and comment or if you want to see me play other mobile games then uh, do that as well because i of course monster strike is going to be my main for the channel and all that stuff but uh i might branch out a little bit have some open mind about other games so you guys have any other suggestions then feel free to comment as well but that's pretty much it for me i hope you guys like and subscribe and make sure you download uh, black knight strikers if you want to try it out and then if you're going to try want to try it then go to the download link and uh, go to my invite link in the description bar but that's pretty much it hope you guys like and subscribe i'll see you guys next time bye bye